So I just put a new roof on my porch. Galvanized steel. I also did the uh, little building's roof. Well, mostly my friend Corwin did. And I handed him stuff. Only one of us could really fit up there at a time. It was a group effort. My son Lucas also helped. I had some sort of a fancy beadboard on the little building here. And uh, we tore it off because it was rotten. We had so much problems with water coming in. This house is 100 years old. I don't know if the roof had ever been replaced. There's my sweetie home. She was in the city with her friend Sandy today because of their daughter, Sandy's daughter, Emily, had some sort of a dance recital. How did it go? So you can see it's pretty square against the house and along the front of the porch. But as it goes, it goes out of square. And I didn't really know the best way to do it because I'm not a real carpenter type. So I just offset and then tried to keep it square again on the rest of the way. It's going to miss the eaves trough completely, the rain. Hey, beautiful. So now I'm sitting in my backyard and tired, I'm trying to recuperate. I'm not the young man I used to be. Uh, it wasn't even that hot today. It was a good day to be on a roof. We're having friends over, neighbors across the street. I think they're coming over tonight. We might have a fire in the fire pit. The plan is to play games. We'll probably play Grant games and talk about whatever comes up. Her family is from the Ukraine. Her mom and dad are in the Ukraine, all of her relatives. They're in West Ukraine, so they're not really dealing with... Her family isn't really dealing with the worst of the war and stuff yet. So, I guess I may go get a pipe. I have a little smoke back here in my backyard. It's kind of relaxing. I'll show you. You can see my hens in their little enclosure. Our fire pit waiting for a fire. Some bicycles.